Okay, good morning. Flowers, yes, I'm here. Uh, do, do, do. Here we are again. Can we duplicate another amazing day? <laughs> All right, let's look at the market. Qs are at 125. <laughs> I thought they'd get there yesterday. There they are, they're there right now. I John says, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Spy is going to 2.30. And everything in the world is going to a million dollars and we can't trade them anymore. <laughs> and we'll never be able to trade them again. <laughs> the, the 900 calls in Google are like $1 million. <laughs> it's not gonna get there in the earnings, but who knows, it could. It could get there today, but it'll cost a million dollars, so we can't, we can't do it. Um, <laughs> so let's just. Let's just do the things that we know. My charts are up. You should be able to see them. If you can, sign out, sign back in. Make you great again. <laughs> that is a funny one. I, John, just said make us great again. I am. I've been on a roll here. You people have never been happier that I'm back running the room every day. true all right here we go let's just do this um chief had asked about the watches i just put things that are in the room that are gaps that's all i don't rate everything though that's a watch you can rate them if you want their stocks that are gapping and then i pick out the ones that i like the best this one here is fine i don't think this is better than uh txt look it just dropped a dollar just since there, look at that. I'm not gonna do anything with that. This also looks crazy, crazy spready. Actually, the best long is this, 43, 45. Almost got to 43 already. STX is the best long today. I don't know when it sets up. Market is bullish. Again, I don't know when it sets up. Market may set up immediately. We might take a little bit to go. Let's just do this and I am gonna do one quick play. Uh, Disciplined Dude mentioned, and he's right, market's very bullish. But this this really could go to $41 today. You're on your own if you hold it till there. Here, here, bravo, Melissa. Thank you. <laughs> Should that be my slogan? I'm going to make everyone great again. All the traders. All the traders in the world. <laughs> You're going to make me laugh so bad now. I'm going to cry. And I'm not going to pay attention. All right, here we go. TXT. And this is very spready. You like my humming? This is going to be spready. Let's not jump into this. Let's just wait. What did I say? 46. This could rally too. Madam President. That doesn't sound half bad. That doesn't sound half bad at all. All right, 45.50. This doesn't have to rally for me. I didn't say that, but wherever it sets up, we're going to do it. Uh, it is spready, though. <clears throat> well, let's just wait a little bit. I think this does pop over the high. Don't anybody jump into this yet. I'm not saying it has to, but it might. Yeah, here, I think it's gonna. Well, maybe not. Let's do 09 by 60 if it hits. Oh, there, it just hit. I didn't get it. There, here, you can do this right now. 09 by 60, but that's really tight. I would put it at 75. Here, I'm going to wait. You can still do this. 09 by 75, give it a wider stop than 60. 
I'm gonna wait a little bit. This is going. This is going though. This could swoosh here. I'm, I'm not in it. I, I, by the time I called it, it hit, but I think it's gonna set up again. If you wanna do this, you can though. I'd put it at 75 instead of 60, but I think that's that could hold the high there. I thought it was gonna flip so that I didn't have my hand on the keyboard. You could be in it with a stop at 75 though. Let's see if we can get a better entry. I think this, I think this rolls over. I'm not gonna chase it here. I, I didn't get it right when it hit 09. I'm gonna see if I can get a better entry. But you could be in it. Yeah, this this may this may actually open and swoosh. Let's see what it does. I'm not in this yet, but you could be with a stop at 75. But I must tell you, if this backs up, I would shave a little off. Because if you did it, if you got it in there, which I didn't, it hit so hard. By the time I called it, it just hit. And I, I wasn't all over it. I didn't have a time in my head to size myself. But I think this gives a better entry. But it, you, you have to shave some off here if this pops. <clears throat> the spread is thinned. The spread is thinned out. Okay, it's broke 45. This is going to go. I'm not in it because it hit very fast, but I think it gives another entry. I didn't want to chase it. If you're in it, I put the stop at 75, but if you're in it and it pops, I'd shave a little off. I think we're going to get another entry in this. And if we don't, then it's just going to swoosh and then we'll take that entry. So I'm not chasing it. Here, I think it is going to swoosh. Man. Let's see what happens. 9.33. Okay, who did it? Who did do it? You definitely, definitely, definitely have to shave some off if you got it in there. This is moving. I did not even have time to size myself. By the time I called the trade, it dropped. And it dropped hard, so I didn't chase it. And I do think it gives another entry. But if you did it, you've got to get out of some in here before it turns around. Sue did it. Dubaz did it. New York Bob did it. Okay. I was in it. Big Fudge did it and got out. Oh, okay, that was all right. All right, here is here. We're gonna get an entry. I still think this is gonna be a big stop, but let's see. <gasps> Woo! All right, here. If any of you were in it. I hope you took some out in there. It just went over 75. Now we're going to get an entry. It's still okay, though. Here, quick, right in the room. Those of you that did it, did you get out down in there? Did you shave any off? It just went over 75. All right, now we're going to get our entry. <clears throat> oh, Bob took it all off. Discipline, dude, you got it? And you didn't take any off? All right, just wait. Okay, stop and this is gonna be 46.10 and I don't have the entry yet. Stop is gonna be 46.10 and I don't have the entry yet, but that's gonna be the stop, so just wait. Okay, we're gonna do I'm not gonna give you the numbers yet because I don't want any of you to jump the gun. We're gonna do 34 by 10. 34 by 10, that's what we're doing. 34 by 10. And this is probably it. I'm glad I didn't chase that. Some of you gotta get out. Okay, 34 by 10, TXT. Black, let's do 39 by 10. There, get it, get it, get it.
get it, get it right now. Let's get the stop in, 46.10, that's it. That was it, that was it, you can take it right now. No more room than that, 46.10, 46.10, this is it, that was it. This is the entry, this is the entry, people. I'm so glad I waited. It's gonna break the loan. If you didn't get out, great, you could do it again. If you did it and didn't get out of any, I told you to, when you did have time, we'll go over when we're done. This is the entry. Hold on. Wow, I'm so glad I didn't chase that. Here, let's look at the market. Market is not doing anything yet that concerns me at all. And this is it. This is it. That was it. Wow. Yep, here we go. Here we go. It's going to break 45 again, and then it's going to collapse. Uh, what did I say the target was? Oh, I just, I had so many numbers down here. 44, I think we get to. It's a little wild. I gave it a big cushion, though. All right, let's see. Okay, plan of action is when it breaks the low, we might get out of something. That, I mean, let's get out of something when it breaks the low. Because I don't know if this goes straight down here. <clears throat> That's my plan of action. Okay, everyone should be in it now if you wanted it. Stops 46.10. And if you didn't do it, you could still do it here. It's a little whippy. Okay, here it goes. Yep, this is here. Here we go. Under 45. TXT. You got to be in if you want it. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here. Here. 44.50. Maybe we should just take it. 44. Under four, under the low could go right down to 44.50. Maybe we should just take it because of the market. Here it goes. It's going to break the low. Here. This could really go far though today. It's just a little wild. <clears throat> This is, this is, this is going to collapse. I just don't know where. Do you see where it bounced? We'll go over this when we're done. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. There was never anything wrong with it. And I'm glad I didn't chase this. But some of you actually got in and out here. Here, it did not break the low yet. 80, 75. <clears throat> it is fast. It's moving fast. That's why I'm thinking when it breaks the low, maybe we just take it. Because I think if it breaks the low, it could go right down to 44.50. We don't have the market against us, though, in this moment. For the, for the immediate moment. Uh, what did STX do? Yeah, this went. Look at that. Wow. I said 45. There. It's there. It got there. Wow. Did anyone do this? I said 43 and 45. I gave you the targets on this. Big stop on this and it went right to the target. It went past 45. <gasps> did anyone do that? I said it this morning. I still think we did the right thing here because I prefer the shorts, but look at that. Here we go, TXT. <sighs> yeah, we did it again. Here we go. If you didn't do this, you could still do it here. It's really, really late, but you could still do it. Stops 46.10. This could go to $41 today. I'll never see that number, but it could. The stock could. Here, under the low. Everyone should be in it. I think I'm just going to take it when it has one big, hard, red bar push. I'm just going to get out. <clears throat> 9.40. Let's see if we can get it done at 9.45. This could go to $41 today. Here, here it goes. Here it goes. Here. Nilo and TXT. Yay. boop a doo Yay. All right, if this doesn't break 50, I'm going to take it. Oh, crap. Man, this is so fast. 54. <clears throat> All right, one more bar here, 54. Come on, you. You 
you know, if I get out of this right here, it'll go to like $41. Here. Hmm. All right, I'm just holding this a little bit more, but you could get out of it there. I'm going to try to give this one bar of a close. Okay, I'm, try I'm trying to give this one more, like just one more chance. If you don't want to, you can take it. It's gotta go right here, or I'm gonna take it. Here it goes. It's that last push. It's so hard to hold sometimes. Jiggy. Here. Under 58. Under 58. We can do it. Under 58. 54. Come on, come on, come on. Nope, I'm out. I'm out. I took it. I'm out. Do whatever you want. Nope, nope, nope. I can't. I'm not going to let it go over 70. I'm out, but it probably keeps going. I uh, just was struggling with that area. It's just sitting, sitting, sitting. Couldn't do it. But it probably keeps going. I took it. I don't want it to get over 70. It was it was sitting right there at that number. It just couldn't get under it. But I really think it keeps going. You could put a stop at 75. You could put a stop at 90. Here. I think that's the morning exit for 945. Woo. Woo. Good. Good, good, good. I'm out. But I think it could go to 40, $41 today. Who knows? I tried. Here, let's go over this. I wanted this to just go right there, and it was struggling, 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 struggling. I took it, but this was a good trade. Joeri's out here. You gotta be out of 70% of this, half at least. You can't hold the whole thing, and we'll go over the whole thing then in a minute. Let me just look at the market. Wow, really did, we're just, we're on a roll here. I mean, fresh, fresh new year. I mean, somebody asked me about my accuracy rate in the webinar the other night. I said, you know what? It depends. It depends on me. There's, there's some periods where I just, there, I can't do anything wrong. There's nothing that I can do nothing wrong right now. Someone better, better give me like a, a vitamin because <laughs> I want to, I want to keep it up. I don't know. What do I have to do to keep it up? Take a. A, a perfect perfection vitamin. I just have to take that perfection vitamin every day and never miss it. <laughs> Under 54 is a new low in TXT. You're out. I'm the best. Thank you. Okay, let's go over it. Let's go over everything because I don't think there's anything else to do. All right. Bottom line is that this did hit and trigger, and I literally didn't even have myself sized or anything. I called the entry and the stop, and then it broke, and it and I didn't want to chase it. And then I was thinking maybe it would swoosh. So then I really didn't want to chase it. And then I did tell many of you here to get out of some or get out of half, get out of something. So so Dave, you had time to get out. If you jimmer jammered around I don't know because I told you to get out of some here you had at least two minutes to get out before this bar happened you got to pay attention anyways this if you didn't get out of any stopped you out so it looks like disciplined dude did get stopped out I think the rest of you got out of the whole thing you could have gotten out of half anyways if you did do this move in here oh nine you got a good 35 cents okay Anyways, then when this did this big bar, I knew this wasn't a reversal. I said it's still okay. Here's people getting stopped out, but it held the resistance. I said this is fine. So then I said this is the entry. This is it. So we did it. We did it, and I could have been tighter with the stop. I really, really could have, but I didn't want to because it was a little while. And I wanted to keep us in the play. So we did it, and then... And then we did it, and you could have gotten out in here, and I tried to see if this could go. I tried, tried, tried. I wanted to get it down to 44, but it wouldn't go, and then I just got out. So here, you have to be out of at least half of this or more. I still think this has another break. This is just the bounce at the reversal time, which is normal. 
and it was a good day. And the market is not against us, even though it's bullish and even though it gapped up. Let's look at BABA. Let's look at these other things. Let's look at the other ones. The CA went, this did not, an STX was the long and it's still going. Wow, look at this. This was a really good, I almost did this today. If, if TXT wouldn't have been the gap today, we would have went long. I go, I'll tell you this right now, I knew this was a great gap. I didn't read it, but I just knew it. And I very rarely go long. But if TXT, if I hadn't seen TXT today to do that, we, we would be in this. We would have done this. It's had a huge stop. It had a dollar stop or more. Actually, this went right to the target. Can you believe that? This went right to the target, right to the target. So it's going to a dream number, a number I didn't even figure out. But look at that. So this was a great bullish gap today. We would have done this if we didn't have this. We would have gone long today. Oh, you might go long some days this year. I told you that. Uh, TXT, Rashad, you came in late. You can scroll up. Ever all the information is in here at the top. 903, I wrote it. Here, I'll copy and paste it. Um, you made $220 this morning. And you doubled your shares. Good job. Would I do a second play in this? No, but I think because of money management, I don't like to do that. It, you have to make up your mind. Are you going to do second plays in everything? Yes or no. If you do, then fine. If you don't, then don't. If you do, then you have to do them almost in every gap. So this is what we talked about the other day. You can have a rule. Everything that swishes, you play to the target. Everything that swishes, you do two trades. Or you say, everything I do, I do two trades, but they're not all going to work in two trades. Because sometimes things go to the target in the first morning and they don't set up again or the second setup fails. So whatever you do, you need to do the same thing every day. You chase it in the morning, Discipline Dude is saying that's your bad. Yeah. I'm surprised you normally don't do that, Discipline Dude, but you are doing well since you're back. And I know you're excited to trade. Can I look at eat? I did look at it and I don't I wouldn't do it here. And I know it looks like it's setting up, but I don't think it goes red today. And this was a sympathy play on TXT. This was not on its own. Okay. This is not an earnings gap. It's a sympathy play with a sector and I wouldn't do it. it. It rallied a lot. TXT already broke. This is a sympathy play in the sector. It's, I don't think this goes red full on today. I would not do it. I didn't call it and I wouldn't do it here. That's my opinion. Well, I teach you how to do the second play, but I but I don't but I don't I don't really do that that often. So yes, you can, but do you want to? If your goal is in for the day, then you should be done. If you make two hundred dollars a day, how much money will you make by the end of the week? Write it in the room. Two hundred dollars times five is what? Boom. Susanna, write it. How much money would you make by the end of the week? If you made two hundred bucks a day, which I think you've been. $1,000. Can you live on $1,000 a week? Can you live on four grand extra a month? I thought it was. Here, I'll go look at it, but I swear that I saw the E was a sympathy play. Maybe it wasn't with TXT, it was something else. Hold on. I did pull it up. No. I think it's something else. Hold on. You're right. But I don't remember what it was. Here, let me look it up again. It doesn't matter. I still wouldn't do it. I'll look up the reason for this. Oh, no, it was earnings. Why did I think it was a sympathy play? I don't care. I wouldn't do it anyways. So it doesn't matter. I don't care the reason. It doesn't matter. It wasn't a sympathy play. I thought it was. I was looking at something else. I still wouldn't do it. 
so don't do it. And it didn't rate well. Go, look, here, I put it above. I'm gonna copy and paste. What did I say? Here it is. Eat, I rated it. It was earnings. It doesn't matter, who cares? It didn't rate well. Look at it. It rated 19 points. I don't care what the reason is. It's not working, it didn't get the rating. Why would you look to do it? Is it normal to cover the position in 30 seconds? You mean in this first trade? Yeah, I was looking at something else, but it doesn't matter the reason. Is it normal to cover it in 30 seconds? Are you talking about this one here? The first trade? Joary, what are you talking about? This was not 30 seconds. Scroll up, Ray, the beginning of the morning. I open up the room at 8.30 and I start writing stuff there. You can scroll all the way up if you sign in late. You can always do that if you sign in late. Oh, you mean to get filled? Oh, to, to get, to, to mean, no, it should not take 30 seconds. It should, I don't know what ECN you're using. Again, ARCA is the fastest, but expensive. Find, a play around with that. No, it shouldn't take 30 seconds. But you know what? I, there's, there's no rule. I didn't have a problem exiting this today. To, the, I mean, sometimes when something's down a lot, you might, or if you have a lot of size or something, did anyone have problems getting out of this today? I didn't. It looks like Joe Airy took him a while to get out. I didn't have a problem getting out. Came and dude didn't either. You might have a little slippage. That happens to me sometimes, but I get out. Suzanne is saying what? What do you mean a stop and a limit? You're, I'm, I, I don't understand the question, Susanna. I have a lot of targets. We get a lot of targets. I, you know, the real target on this, if it gets there today, would be huge. But I don't. I didn't hold it to there. Here, it's setting up again. You want to do another trade? Do this. Here, I'm going to call in. A, I'm going to make an official call in this if you want it. You can short TXT again with a stop at 45.75. It's 50 cents to see if it breaks a low. It's an official call. If you want to do it, I would not do eat. Yes, it was earnings. I made a mistake. I was looking at something else. It doesn't matter. Here, this is going. It still didn't rate good enough. And the reason, it doesn't matter. And if you want to do anything else, I'd do this. Uh, Chief, you can email me. I'll refer you. I'll refer you to a place. Um, Susanna, I don't understand your question about two targets. I gave a lot of targets in the room, but, but um, you know, when, you, when you're up money, I mean, here, if you didn't get out of this, then this rallied all the way back to the price. It's going again. Look, it's going to break the low. It's going to go down, probably break the 44.50 I wanted. I didn't feel like holding it, but I was up money in a couple of minutes. It looks good though. Look, I just called another trade in it. Did anyone just do it? There's nothing wrong with that. Stocks don't go in one straight line. So I give the targets if you want to follow it through. I really think this is going to get to 44 or 43.50. I John did it. Big Fudge did it again. Usually exit half your position. That's okay. Here, this is going to go again. This was a good gap. If I didn't have this today, we would have went long STX though, because that was a good gap as well. Uh, let's go over. Let's look at just look at some things here. Here, I'm gonna call the market long. 
You can go to the law on the market right in here. You can go law on the spiders if you want another trade. Here it is, right in here. It's a breakout. It's going to break out, and the target's 230. I put the stop at 228.25. It's 50 cents in the spy. If you want to go long, and the target's 230. Let me just look and see if this is good here or not. This has to be wider. 124.50 if you want to go long the queues. The spiders are better. Here it is. Go long the spiders if you want another trade. Stops 225, 228.25. Here it goes. It's going to break out. Here's the market breaking out. Wow. Is this a new high again? I believe it is. It's incredible. We have rallied every day since the election. Every day. We were down huge, huge overnight in the futures. Didn't, it did end up gapping down, not that much. Rallied all day long and every day since and have just consistently made new highs. And look at that. So tonight is Wednesday. I think the big night is tomorrow night. Let's look. Ask me questions if you have any. Um, let me just look and see what we have out tonight. Today, is today Tuesday or Wednesday? No, it's Wednesday eBay. Uh, T. CTX. WDC. Here. Tonight's watches. Thank you, Melissa. Great presentation. God bless. You're welcome. Here, let's look at uh, eBay. The big night's tomorrow night, but unfortunately, my plan of action to trade some of these high flyers for doing options didn't work out this time because nothing made sense. Nothing made sense for the cost. Even the insane numbers didn't make sense. Okay. Any questions? Uh, eBay would be great. Would love eBay. In fact, eBay will, it will be good no matter what it does. Unless it doesn't do anything. Is FFIV tonight? Or you want to look at that now? See anything here? WDC. This looks like it already gapped up. This looks like it already had something tonight. It's it's showing that it's tonight, but it looks like it already reported. So maybe this already did it. That's weird. Here, this is going again. Any questions from anyone about anything at all today? How's everybody doing? Everyone should be happy. In a good mood. Every day when I get up, I, John, is going to say, it's going to call me Madam President, and then I'm going to be perfect. And that's our plan of action for the rest of the year. <laughs> Terrific. Susanna, just email me before Friday. Her Highness or Queen is appropriate. I'll take it. Not going to argue with either one of those titles either. Anything that's uh, anything title related. <laughs> uh, what moving averages? Let's go over it. Ray. 
This is a 50 period moving average. This is a 20 period moving average. This is an eight period moving average. This is a 200 period moving average with a daily chart. I only have the 50 on the daily. The rest of them I have on all the charts. This is a daily chart of TXT and we traded it today and it was a short. Actually, no, I do have the 50 on this one here. Uh, SPY target 230. 229, 230, 230 if it breaks out. Beyond 230 if it keeps going. Look, we've barely been going. Low of the day is 228.51. To go to 230, it'll be a two and a half dollar move. It could go 235 is the dream target. I'm not saying it gets there. 230 is the target. I didn't call the cues. The spy is better. Ray, did you understand that? Those are the moving averages. Down here you have the volume. Over here you have the moving price. These are candlesticks. I go over this in the class, but this is very basic. If you want to set your charts up like mine, you just make shift the charts and any platform that you have, you go in and you set them up and pick the minute. And then you can go to the study lines if you want to make different jiggies. Here's the ones that I have, okay? I use simple moving averages, not exponential. You could make a million things, but I don't like all these things. I like charts that are very, very clean, but your, your uh, platform will figure it out. If you don't know how to do that in the chart studies, then you just call wherever you, your broker, wherever you have your platform, and they'll help you figure it out to put these on. And I like a white background because it's easier in my eyes than a black. Okay. Any other questions, Ray? There's lots of books on candlesticks. I don't think you need to call them any special names. You do need to learn how to read what, what they're doing, what ones are bullish or what ones are bearish or what ones are neutral. But I don't use any specific names for the candlesticks. There's a lot of books out there, though. Anyone else have questions? Okay. We'll just get up again and do it again tomorrow. <laughs> oh, Ray has another question. Do you use the candle to identify the turn like you did for the second trade in TXT? I, I use candlesticks to trade. Yes, here, right now. Let's go over this. Some people are in it. I called this. I'm not in it. It's breaking. I Look at this. It's selling off. Do you see it? The price is going down. I use candlesticks to show me with the directional bias of what's happening with the stock. Otherwise, how would I make a decision to trade? I'd only have the moving price. So I use the candlestick, but it's depicting the moving price. It's just easier for it to be seen in the directional bias. But you could read the price, which I do. I do read the price. I'm looking at this up here as well as the candlestick. But I use both. But this is easier to see. When it's red, it's going down. When it's green, it's going up. But if I want to be specific with the numbers, I look at the price, which I do do. You, you need to look at both. But candlesticks to pick price, okay? It's depicting the moving price. Otherwise, you just have the moving price, which, you know, a million years ago, when people started first trading, that's all they had. They read the tape, which was the price. Here, this is going to break the low. Look at that, under 44.54. Many people would not be able to read price action and just trade. I, I could do that. I could do that. But it's easier when you have it to see it with the colorations and with the candles. This looks great, people. This is gonna get a 44 at least, look at that. So all of these different things on here, you know, uh, help you. Here, look, this is breaking the low. Look at that, I John's in it, anybody else? Wow, here it goes, it's gonna break the low right now, TXT. Again, if you wanted to hold this, you would have, but you would have been holding it all the way through up to your original entry. So I didn't want to do that, but there was nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with the gap. I did call it again. It was official call. I 
play around with this at the beginning. At one point, I, I had it. At one point, I had pink charts. I played around having pink ones and blue ones. Uh, lighter colors are better for your eyes. Uh, where is the chart thing? Lighter colors are actually better for your eyes. I have very sensitive blue eyes. It's they're easier on the eyes. Lighter colors than darker colors. It's that's a known fact. So. I played around with having pink for a while. I played around with uh, light baby blue. I had this color for a little while. It was a long time ago. And I just found that, you know, white was easier. This is very harsh to me. It's very harsh to me. I'd have to change this this color line, but I could make it yellow. But this is very hard for me to see. Don't you think that's hard to see? This is easier to see here. I John is trailing a two minute high. Very good. I think it goes to forty four. You may as well hold it. You're up money from the first trade. Discipline dude said he agrees with me about the charts, about the colors. Yes. It's not good for your eyes. Light colors are better for your eyes. Your bedroom is supposed to be a soothing color. It's better for your eyes if it's a lighter color where you go to sleep. All of these things. There's different things even to relax you. It's color therapy. You read about it. All right, have a good day. Have an amazing day, okay? And I will see you back in the room tomorrow. If you're interested in the class, email me. If you want to retake, email me. If you want to sign up, email me. Deadline's Friday. Tomorrow's Thursday. The next day's Friday. Let's just have a great week. Let's just have a great year. Okay? You're welcome. All right. Thank you. Talk to you later. You're welcome.